Hello and welcome to the Daily Mill for Thursday, the 2nd of December 2021. Today in Mill News, we have this. So Gary Rarrett was asked about the um, gap from the middle of the table where we are to the championship playoff positions, and this is what he said. This is from LondonNewsOnline.co.uk, South London Press's online website, and he says Gary Rowett is confident that Mill can close the gap on the championship playoff places. The Lions are six points behind Coventry City, who occupy the final playoff position going into Saturday's match against Birmingham City. Only five club clubs have lost fewer matches on their home turf than the Lions too. All of them are at the top end of the table. This time last season we were 16th and we still got ourselves in with a chance with about 7 or 8 games to go, Rout told the South London Press. Historically we've been a team whose form has been better over the second half of the season, so I'm not overly concerned. We were, at one, point f uh, we were one point off with 3 games to go and then because we have drawn 2 and lost 1 then of course you just lose a, bit, a little bit of ground. But it is more about concentrating on our consistency and concentrating on how we can add some more wins and certainly not create more losses like we did at a whole. We have to make sure we are hard to beat and hard to play against. The rest for me takes care of itself. If you look at the average to reach the playoffs in the last 10 years then we're, we'll be about 3 or 4 points off of that rather than 6 in the current moment. It's about us maintaining the levels and raising them if we raise them then we'll give ourselves a chance over the 46 games. If we can't, then we'll probably be in the same position as the last two or three seasons. The challenge for us has always been that little extra 10%. Indeed, he makes a good point there, though. We do finish the season strong, generally. And if we're not so far back, that gives us a decent chance then, doesn't it? If we carry on with a strong finish, um, I think our March and April fixtures are not that bad. They're very winnable, so we would see. We should see. He makes a good point there. So that will be interesting if we're still there or thereabouts come the end of February. All guns blazing until the end of the season. Um, moving on now to this from newsatden.co.uk, and it's Tom Bradshaw. I've had a word with him. What's he said? So Mule striker on being in last year of contract and new deal and why he's not thinking about it. Tom Bradshaw has rejected any notion he feels under pressure in the last year of his contract at Millwall, insisting he is enjoying his football and is only focused on giving his best to the team. In the same month last year, Mill took up the option to extend 29-year-old Bradshaw's contract by another 12 months. Former Warsaw forward Bradshaw who was the Lions club record buy from Barnsley in the summer of 2018, has yet to hear about a potential new deal. Bradshaw is hitting scoring form at the right moment for a player heading to the final months of his current contract, netting three times in his last five games. Lions manager Gary Rowett is an admirer of the Wales international who can play across the front line. Bradshaw played in behind Benekofobi last weekend at Hull City and clinically scored his side's equaliser. Bradshaw is in the same situation as players such as Matt Smith and Alex Pierce, who also had their deals extended last season and is used to field, field inquiries on his future. I've answered this question before in terms of it's hard to think too much about long term things in football, Bradshaw told me at dinner this week. I'm enjoying my football at the moment, I'm playing more regularly and scoring more regularly, it's something I'm enjoying week in week out. If a new contract is on the table because of success or whatever then obviously that would be something to think about at the time, but it's not something I dwell on too much. Asked if he would like to extend his stay in South London, Bradshaw, who has a young family, didn't hesitate to answer. Definitely, he said, we've made it our home around here. My fiancé's family are all based here. It's been the longest I've been at a club since I was at Shrewsbury Town. It's somewhere where we've definitely made home and it's something I would definitely be interested in. But contracts aren't handed out willy-nilly. You have to earn them. It's not something I'm putting too much thought into at the moment. We're still fairly early into the season. I'll try to do my best week in, week out. And whatever comes with that, comes with that. So, there you go. Um, what does that mean? The, the club haven't approached him about a new deal yet? Um, that is one of the area of the um, team, the up front, where they, they definitely need to improve. So, basically, they will... They didn't offer Matt Smith a new contract. And then they waited and waited. And then at the end, 
they offered him a new contract but it was reduced I don't know if they reduced the money or they reduced something about it and then they said we'll keep we'll keep you on this this contract but we're not going to give you the same contract and we understand uh, you probably that's you're probably not going to like that so try and find yourself another club but if you can't the contract's there and he came back and signed the contract and the same thing was with Alex Spears so will they try and do that with with Bradshaw I don't know but I'm sure they will try you could end up with me all needing well Benicophobia is on loan and then you've got Bradshaw and Matt Smith whose contracts finish at the end of the season we're gonna need a lot of strikers next season where are they coming from how are you gonna get a decent striker um out of contract ones I hope um Harvey Bustle and whoever's involved are working on I know they've got a, there's a possibility they might have to replace Jed Wallace but might have to get a couple of strikers in and then that's what I'm thinking well Isaac Galoffi's there he's a natural one to come in and take one of those places and then that's a, you could say that's a cheap option but then you um, hopefully that works out it might not work out but hopefully it does work out then you're still going to need another couple of strikers but um, so I would imagine that it, they would lean on them probably renewing Bradshaw's deal just so they won't have to go and find a new striker out of so they're going to have to get three strikers in whereas if they renew Bradshaw's deal um, bring Isaac Aloffi in probably let Matt Smith go and Benicophobia will go back to Stoke and then they'll only have to bring a find uh, another one striker because they've lost three uh, they lost two in Smith and a Phobie and brought in Isaac Aloffi and renewed Bradshaw so that's probably one way I can see it playing out it's just um like I said he likes the area he, stay, he wants to stay in the area so I doubt there's any He's not going to go halfway across the country, it sounds, for similar money. If we can offer him just the same money, I imagine he'll sign it. So just wait until the end of the season and do that. Because who else in the area is going to offer him similar, mo similar money to what we are? Um, Charlton, doubtful. Wimbledon. Doubtful. Gillingham, doubtful. QPR, I don't think so. Um, so yeah, just wait until the end of the season now from a contract. But there are there could be a complete uh, overall up front um, in terms of strikers for Millwall next season. We've got two out of contract, one returning to his loan club. So. Are there deals in place? I know we did make an offer to some Dutch club um, for a striker. Um, that was, I made a video about that earlier um, in the summer. I can't remember which video, but uh, if you're a regular watcher, you'll you'll know about that. Anyway, moving on. So, Crowdy, where's your Crowdy? Where's your Crowdy gone? Last chance of Crowley collection. This is from UFC.co.uk. I can't believe that. How many are there left? Um, calling all Mule supporters this Saturday presents your final chance to collect your Crowley. The cardboard cutouts took pride of place during the lockdown period of football at the den and have been available to pick up from the Mule Supporters Club gazebo for some time now. But this weekend is your last opportunity. You have been warned. Head to, to the gazebo situated by the SE16 bar. Between 1 and 2.15pm before the Lions Sky Bet Championship meeting with Birmingham City to bag yours before it's too late. Here's the thing. So if they're going to get rid of him anyway, I think. So 
you have to go and pick up your own crowdy if you want to go and get your own crowdy. But here's they should after the game they should just let people take them though. I don't know why, but uh, why you would want one. But yeah, just let just let them fans take them. Anyone wants one? Here you go. Here you go, uh, everyone. These are all the unclaimed crowdies. Do you want to take one home? Just let them take them. They could use them as a uh, target practice. Darts, put dartboard on the, on the something like that. I don't know. But yeah. So if you have, if you got a crowdie and you haven't collected it yet, maybe you don't want to collect it. You don't give a fucking shit. You know, it was just a laugh. And what are you gonna do? Where are you gonna put it? Just um, yeah, you have before the Birmingham City game, but but like I said before, so if you go into the game, you pick up your crowdy. What are you you gonna? They, they expect you, they're gonna let you in with it, yes or no? If they let you in with it, well, you you're gonna sit there like a mug with that big giant piece of cardboard that looks like you. For whatever, forever, how long? For the game, the length of the game. It's all very weird. Uh, moving on now to this, the last story. Don't worry, we're nearly there. Free Christmas camps at Mill Community Trust. Uh, Mill Community Trust activity and food holiday camps will be returning this Christmas. Sean Daly, CEO of the trust, said we're excited to bring back these Christmas camps to the young people in our local community. This multi-sports camp will give all children the opportunity to have fun playing tennis, dodgeball, football, and so much more while making new friends. They will also be provided with healthy and delicious meals every session in a COVID-safe environment. The Trust will be hosting activity and food camps free of charge at the following venues from the 20th to the 31st of December. And that is at um, Fisher's Ground, St Paul's Sports Centre, Saltwood Road. Uh, Rob Rife 10 to 2, Lucium in the Lions Centre, Bellina Road, that's next to the, that's the thing pictured here, uh, next to the Den, that's 10am to 2pm, and Lewington Centre, Eugenia Road, uh, that's 10 to 2am, you have to book a place, so you have to click on the links above, there are no links here, where are the links? Oh, you click on the name. You click on Southwark or Lewisham, it will take you to a form that you have to fill in and then email off. So please contact Tim, or you, Tim, you can email Tim Sells, T Sells, at millcommunity.org for further information. The camps are designed for children and young people aged 5 to 16. Places must be pre booked due to limited availability. So there you go, Christmas warning. Um, so this is from the 20th to the 31st. So over the Christmas period, if you want free babysitters for just for two hours a day, um, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Um, just to get you get the, get your kids away from you for a couple of hours, or maybe you want to go and buy their Christmas presents without them being around, and you've got no one to leave them with. 10 to 2. There you go. Drop them off and then go up town. Will you have enough time to do it in two hours? I don't know. Maybe you do it over multiple, multiple days. But there you go. Um, Christmas free Christmas camps over the Christmas period starting from twentieth of December till the thirty first of December. So fantastic. There you go. So that is it for today's daily meal. Thank you so much and goodbye.